Hi, welcome back to Stuff We Can Do in Excel. I'm Richard, and what I want to do in this video is talk about something called Excel add-ins. Now, add-ins are packages that are already of, of tools that are already loaded into Excel, but they aren't activated yet, so you don't see them on your ribbon or see them on your screen. One of the most powerful of those add-ins is called Analysis Tool Pack. This is a package of statistical and analysis tools that's really, really powerful. You can do analysis of variance, you can do t-test, you can do f-test, you can do regression analysis, you can do descriptive statistics, you can do histograms. A lot of things are built into this as tools um, and all you have to do is activate it. But before we can actually use it, we have to go in and load it into Excel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. This is going to be a lot of fun. I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's get into it. So when you open up Excel, this is the screen you're going to see initially. You'll notice that it opens up with the Home tab on the ribbon as the default tab. But we don't want to use that tab. We're going to go over and look at the Data tab. When you go to the Data tab, it's going to open up a new set of commands. And there we go. And those commands, if you go all the way over to the right, on the very f far side, you're going to see a, a, a section called Analyze. Now, right now, I've got something in there called Solver. You may not have that. And the reason you don't have it is because it hasn't been activated. We're going to activate also something called the Data Analysis Tool Pack. Now, I had it in mind. I took it out so that I could demonstrate how to add it back in. But it's going to show up right here in this section of your spreadsheet. So let's go see how we access the Data Analysis Tool Pack. Then we'll take a brief look at some of the things it can do. So we're going to go all the way back over here to the left and click on File. Then we're going to go down to the bottom and click on Options. When we get to the Options, it's going to open up this box. And I'm going to turn off the magnifier for now. And so you've got this box of information. We're going to go down here to Add-ins. And it brings up some options. All we really need to do is go to the Go tab down here at the very bottom. The Go button down here will take us to our Add-ins. It's going to open up a window. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it. It opens up this window here and it gives us some options. You notice the solver is already clicked. Euro currency tools, which is under formulas, is already clicked. Analysis tool pack is not. And the one we want to use is the very first one, analysis tool pack. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to click OK. And what that's going to do, that's going to open that up. Now, if you look at the top of the screen where the solver is, you're going to see tool pack show up as a new add in. And there it is, it says Data Analysis. See that? Data Analysis Tool Pack. Now, what can we do with this Data Analysis Tool Pack? Well, well let's click on it and see. It gives us lots and lots of options. So we can do uh, analysis of variance. We can do correlation analysis, descriptive statistics, these are things like mean, mode, median, standard deviation, high, low, uh, all those kind of things that we need, the average amount. Exponential smoothing. We can do F-test, which is a, a test of uh, between whether or not two samples are different. Um, we can do histograms. We can do moving average. There's more of them down here, too. We can look at things like t-testing and sampling. All these are really powerful tools, statistics tools, and they're built right into Excel, and they're part of this data analysis tool pack. So this is going to be a really helpful tool to you. Uh, we're going to be using it in a couple of exercises, and I'm, I think you're going to see uh, how you can get some really useful information really quickly. In fact, nothing in here is, is something you couldn't actually produce on your own, but the problem is it takes longer to sit and format it. Why sit and format it and, and program it? when in fact it's already there. So in some of the next videos, we'll take a look at how to actually use the Data Analysis Tool Pack. The Data Analysis Tool Pack is probably the most useful add-in that you're ever going to find, particularly for doing the uh, statistical analysis, the descriptive statistics. Um, some of the other tools are also very useful, and we'll use the Data Analysis Tool Pack for some of those. Uh, but the reality is that that descriptive statistics package that's built into the Data Analysis Tool Pack is going to be extremely useful to you when you're trying to describe the data that you have before you. Hope you liked this video. If you did, click the Like button below, and we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you real soon.